Hi everyone, my name's Chloe Burrows and I'm the Fraud and Cyber Protect Coordinator for West Midlands Police Economic Crime Unit and today I'm going to talk to you about phishing. So what is phishing? Phishing is when attackers attempt to trick users into doing the wrong thing, such as clicking a bad link that will download malware or directing them to a dodgy website. The term phishing is mainly used to describe attacks that arrive by email. So now I'm going to show you this email. Now this email is purporting to be from UKGov. And they're saying that due to the coronavirus, a new tax refund programme has been established and that you're eligible to get a tax refund of £250. And to access the funds, you'll have to click on the link. So straight away, we can spot some suspicious signs on this email. So firstly, where the emails come from, it's saying mail at ukgov.co.uk, which is not a genuine email address for UK government. Secondly, the email addresses us as dear customer not by our name. Thirdly, there's a promise of a reward and in this case it's money. Lastly, the email is asking you to access the funds you'll need to click on the link and input personal details. So looking at the website address you can see that it's inconsistent with official gov.uk URLs. So we say to take five and stop, challenge and protect. So stop and think before parting with your money or information. Challenge, could it be fake? And then protect, if you think you've been scammed, contact your bank immediately. Also, if you go onto the NCSC website, they've got some great infographics. This one I'm showing you now is regarding phishing attacks. And there's some key points on there. So telltale signs of phishing, what to do if you already clicked on a link, and then making yourself a harder target for criminals. Thank you for listening to my short presentation on phishing and remember to stop challenge and protect.